Yeah, so uh, we just got done with the Off-Grid Festival here in Asheville, North Carolina, um, August 2019, and we're really happy that we got to power the Norm's Elderberry stage all weekend, cool. as long as the kids' planetarium and then the speaker expo down here. So what we have is a mobile battery storage system. It comes standard with a 12 kilowatt hour storage capacity with a 6.5 kilowatt inverter, and really we give you the ability to have power wherever you might need it. We charge with solar, with wind, you connect our system to the grid, and if you need to, you can also connect it to a fuel generator. So what we do is we offer all the components of the solar system in one unique and elegant package with the ability to drive itself with our auto walk transmission as well as That's to cool. <laughs> look at all the running stats and real time data. Can you show like a little bit? Of yeah, I can definitely moves? show a that, little that's bit. That's one so, of the coolest parts, man. I mean, right, right now we're locked into place. These things are not light. <laughs> no, so this is not light. Being but able at the to same move time, easily. we're on this pallet. These were connected to the stage down mm -hmm. here, but if I needed to, I could put it in drive, hit this throttle, and I could move this around at will. And then if I needed to, I could just drop it in reverse and move it around. Yeah. So it, it gives us the ability to bring power wherever it might be needed, where there's an unreliable grid, whether it's a food truck, a music festival, a job site emergency management the list continues to go on uh, and we offer a great like grid solution for applications such as those yeah can you, I, I saw this stuff going on the screen can you explain uh what all we're seeing yeah no here? definitely so right here is our computer these are just our running stats this is awesome. even though is we're this really your shaded, software yeah this is software okay. that we develop proprietary oh, cool. for our machine awesome. right now we're at 65 watts on our pv but we're completely uh completely shaded and after going all day our batteries are only at 80 percent so We've done our job today, and you know things are looking pretty There's good. There's still eighty percent. There's still eighty wow. percent left into here. It jumps seventy-seven, eighty percent. Mm -hmm. Our batteries are still at forty-nine point five volts. Okay. So we're doing well. We're still off putting. We're still outputting two hundred forty volts right now down in the stage as they're breaking it down. So this is your complete disconnect right here, right? The main yeah. Power? This is our main power. You flick this on for AC charge. You can plug your solar, your wind into here. You have all your AC plugs here at 110 volts at 60 hertz, but this automatically adapts to 50 hertz if you need it. Then it'd be a 110 volt gang and then a 220. You know, so normally these would be wired into a home's breaker panel to offer a great backup system that would rival that of a propane or a natural gas. Generator. So is this more like an energy efficient home or is this like, this could power like a normal home? This could power a normal home. I mean, majority of the critical loads with inside of the home. Okay. Lights, ceiling fans, TVs, Wi-Fi. Would, would this work at all in conjunction with the grid, or is it like just taking completely off? The system itself doesn't touch the grid. What we wanted to give the people is being called the personal power plant. Yeah. Was the ability to harness and own all of their own energy, mm -hmm. um, separate from the utility companies that they might have. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And where would you store this if this was at your house? Like, where would it be the best? Obviously, probably not outside because. Yeah, no, obviously we have exposed plugs. It yeah. can be stored outside if you build an enclosure around it, but normally okay. we have it next to a breaker panel because this is mm -hmm. connected to a sub panel that power powers all the critical circuits within so your maybe home. maybe in like a garage or something Yeah, like that. garage is a perfect application okay. for something like this. Yeah, and um, what, are, what are all these right here? These are just gonna tell you, like right now we're, we're pulling, we're on our inverter. Mm -hmm. So if I'm getting solar, this is gonna go on, obviously over temperature overload the alarm is going to sound if there's some sort of issue with the the temperature of the batteries if we're discharging too much electricity or if we're taking in too much electricity so you sell this as a kit with the solar panels or we sell the standalone that? system but okay. you know in our local area we'll do installations as well okay um, to offer like a microgrid or off-grid solution and how many panels would you be connected to this you can run up to 12 kilowatts of solar through here. Okay. So it really just depends upon the, the wattage of each individual module. Would you want those panels sized a good bit below, like what it can store? No, not necessarily. Even for the for this weekend, we have our array on top of our trailer over here. That and, we and, have, this and then we have three. This? So we have six panels. They're Jinko 365 watt module. So we have a 2.2 kilowatt array. You know, so for what we were doing, this is fine. I mean, the average solar system in America is residentially is about eight kilowatts. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty similar. So if you go into a home, you know, we'll, we can put up to 12 kilowatts through the system. So, I mean, that's a lot, that's a lot of power in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Uh, so you've been uh, powering these stages and this 
pretty much isn't even completely depleted. In the no, night, we can, we can go for a few days just on yeah. our batteries without even charging. It's pretty impressive. It's and really um, well out here. You're, you're working on other applications as far as... Uh, like this is this is more geared to a home. Yeah, no, we have one currently on a food truck, and we have we make these trailers that we do job site power. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on a few different models because you know when we manufacture all of our own merchandise, yeah, we have the ability to kind of make some changes. We're working on something now specifically for RVs and food trucks. Yeah, yeah. You guys pretty much made this from scratch. Like, you you do all your own software. Like, yeah, we do all of our own software. We put everything together ourselves. Own. All these machines are made in Minnesota. Okay. We're based out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But yeah, I think you know, that's important to people. It's, it's, it's locally based. Yeah, and, this um, is an American-made battery storage system, yeah. which is extremely hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. How, how would somebody go about doing anything? Yeah, if anybody wants more information, you can go find us on Facebook at Clean Green Solar Machine mm -hmm. or go to cleangreensolarmachine.com. My name is Lyle Chardy. I'm our marketing director, but I'm also... I wear a lot of different hats, yeah. so I have my hands on this thing at all times. So, yeah. you know, it'd be the best way to go and try to reach out to us via our website. We'd probably work for that. Yeah, thanks for talking to us about it. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. We yeah. had a great time this weekend. Yeah, we did. Get yeah. off grid. Fest. <laughs>